Hey everyone, it's me, the How To Homemaker. So I've had a pinwheel sitting in my closet for quite some time now, and I didn't really know what to do with it. I mean, I bought it and it was bright colors. I like it, it's good quality, good price. But I mean, what do you do with a pinwheel? Do you just run around with it? I don't even run if I have a kite in my hand. So what do you do with it? I like different things on my wall. So that's what brings me to this video. I'm just gonna get down to the fast motion right away, let you guys see how I did what I did and what I used. I just used things that I had in my craft closet like usual. And I'll let you know what I would do different because there is a few things. So let's get through the fast forwarded, then join me at the end and see how it went. Okay, talk to you soon. I like it. I like the way that it turned out. There is a couple things that I would do different. What I did though was I had these glass beakers at hand. I used hot glue and just rope and I twirled the rope around the beaker in a decorative way in a couple layers. And then at the top of the pinwheel I just tied a loop knot and secured it around there and then put it in place with hot glue as well so it didn't move from side to side or up and down the shaft of the pinwheel. And then all four of those strands, I know it looks like two, but there's four there, I put them together for one anchor point just like that. Now when it comes to tying knots, I'm no expert. I know a couple knots, yes, and it's not hard to learn so you guys can google stuff if you want to learn decorative knots, decorative end knots, things like that, but my suggestion really, just get to it. Everybody can tie a basic knot and don't tie them tight right away. That's my advice. You want to be able to work with the strands and make sure that they're both the same length. I have four up there, so you don't want one beside the other longer because it just looks silly. I actually had it like that at one point and I had to fix it. So that's my suggestion for that. Don't tie your knots tight right away. And what I would do different for this project, that glass beaker, let's just say at the beginning of this project, I had four of them and now I have one. <laughs> I broke it three times. I completed this three times and I broke it and I needed to film this freaking video so I had to fix it <laughs> so my suggestion if you're gonna go out and buy stuff for this don't buy glass get something plastic that the stick will I know a wooden stick and glass speaker what could go wrong three times stuff went wrong so don't do it <laughs> that's my suggestion 
And with that being said, everybody in life makes mistakes. What matters is what you do about it and what you can learn from other people's mistakes. <laughs> Bye everyone. See you next video.